Hey all, Matt here with CryptoBlick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to update your Trezor Model T. So if that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's make it happen. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do here is go ahead and pull up your Trezor suite. You're then going to connect that uh, Model T to your cable. Okay. All right, and then let me sure we're in focus here. There we go. So then tap to connect on the screen. You're then gonna enter in that four digit pin. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and then select the green checkbox or mark. It's going to update. There we go. And now it's gonna update my transactions here in a second. You're gonna see that on screen. Okay, it says follow instructions here. Let's make sure we're in focus for you. Enable labeling, yes. Okay. All right, so now you can see it says new Trezor firmware available. Please update your device. So we're going to do that. Um, you can see that it is right now syncing my transactions. Um, let's go ahead and wait for the transactions to come in. You can see I have some Cardano here. Um, I'll show you it real quick. Here. Yeah, you can see right there. I have some Cardano here on this uh, Model T. So let's go ahead, as long as I can do this here, update now. You're going to see I have 2.5.3. We need to go to 2.6. So let's go ahead and do install firmware. Uh, make sure you have your seed phrase backed up. Never do this without making sure you have that available because your seed phrase is what allows you to recover your crypto if you ever break your device, if you ever get it stolen, things like that. So make sure that you have that uh, safe and secure somewhere before you continue. All right, so then it shows you how to reconnect your Trezor in bootloader mode. So this one's a little tricky. Sometimes I have to do it once or twice or three times to get it to work. Typically, I can get it done on the first try, but sometimes you'll see. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, while I'm recording here, I'm going to unplug. And then you're going to do this on the screen. And as you plug it back in, there we go. All right. Don't ask me why you have to do that, but you do. So you can see here, bootloader mode, connect to host. Yep. All right, device is now ready. Install firmware. All right, so then it says update firmware by Satoshi Labs. Yes, we do. Now it's, it is installing. I'm trying to give you guys a good view here on the camera. There we go. All right, now we're almost done here. We're about, uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Now we're complete, perfect. So it's gonna restart here in a couple seconds. Keep everything plugged in. There we go, so now the screen is different. They've updated the UX here just a little bit, so tap to connect. Enter your pin, so I have up to 16 tries. Let's hope I remember it. And go ahead and do the green checkbox. Verifying my pin, perfect, and we're, we are in. Obviously it's updating everything. Okay, so we're done with the firmware. It says please wait, so it's verifying all the transactions on the blockchain that ADA that I have available. Also enable labeling, so go ahead and do that. As you can see, it's syncing again. It's syncing those transactions on that blockchain, that ADA that I have on this device here. Super straightforward, super easy here. Um, so guys, that's how you do it. If you wanna see, uh, then make sure you have the latest firmware versions and, and software. So on the uh, for the software, just come over to application, scroll on down until you get to suite version. You can see right there, you can always check for updates that way. And then it'll let you know, hey, no new updates available. Great, come on over to device. And you can scroll down here to, ver uh, to firmware and then version, and it'll show you 2.6. And if you wanted to, for whatever reason, reinstall it, you can do it right there again. Um, but we've done it already, there's no need to do it again. If you were wanting to add more accounts, I'm not gonna do a, a video on this, but you can do it here. Just go ahead and do that uh, plus sign uh, you can activate more coins if you want to, if you wanted to do Litecoin or XRP or Dash or, you know, pick what you want there. And that is how you update the firmware on your Trezor Model T. So if you have any questions further, guys, put them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to help you out the best way that I can. I still respond to old videos on my channel. And if you do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you when I see you.